Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. So this morning I was up around, I want to say it was about 6.15, 6.30, fed the cats, which is the first thing that I do every morning. Um, I like to start in the kind of colder months with um, hot chocolate in the morning. It's my favorite thing to start off with. So I already uh, had that. I'm actually still working on it. I usually don't drink coffee until it depends, like if I'm working in the morning, like typically a start time for a morning shift would be like eight or nine, then I'll usually make the coffee while I'm home, bring it with me and then kind of drink it throughout the morning. Um, but this, when I do like a closing shift at work, which typically doesn't start until around 12, I try not to drink the coffee until like 12 because then I have it, you know, that kind of caffeine boost um, while I'm actually at work. Today is a little bit of an exception. Um, I'm doing like a special thing at work today, so I actually don't start till two in the afternoon, um, but I'm there till 11 o'clock tonight. Um, and I actually have a couple of things I really need to get done this morning. I needed to take the trash and the recycling out, which I did already. So check there. Um, I have to do a bunch of dishes, so I'm gonna go do those next. I think I need to get the dishwasher probably running as well. Um, and then the other thing I need to do today is to clean out my closet or clear out my closet is more appropriate. So I have uh, my closet has access to the attic in it and I have um, guys coming over tomorrow, um, a company is coming over tomorrow and they are going to do some work up in the attic that we need done. They're replacing insulation and doing a couple of other things. So um, I actually need to clear out the closet so that they can like get the ladder down to get roof, access to the roof because they're going to need a lot of kind of free space and i do have like some you know shelves and stuff i need to take down i.e i need to then take my clothes down i'm going to start that today i'll probably finish it tomorrow morning uh they won't be starting until nine so i'll have some time before they get here just to i don't like i don't want all of that stuff kind of sitting in my bedroom for a whole day um, plus i'll need like access to my clothes today to get dressed and stuff so I'll start that, but I'll probably finish it in the morning, but I'll show you guys um, like my closet and taking clothes out and stuff. So next I'm gonna go do the dishes and then I think I'm also gonna have some breakfast. I've been on a little bit of an oatmeal kick lately, so we'll see if I have that. I also have some English muffins in the freezer that have my name on them, I think. They are calling my attention today. Um, and then I also made banana bread this weekend and I have that in the freezer. I actually think that sounds better. So I think I might have some um, banana bread. Um, anyway, let's go do the dishes. Northeast of New Jersey, and it's the um, like toward the middle of March right now. So we're having this like kind of intense up and down weather. It's really what we've been experiencing like um, all winter long at this point. The last week there was a high of like seventy, maybe I think like two days in a row too, which again crazy because we're not really used to that sort of weather and I don't know if it's the weather or other things but my skin has been like freaking out kind of lately and I'm exacerbating the problem I'm sure I do like to put those like drying patches when I get spots like the kind that you can dry out for two reasons one I do think it helps but then the second reason is that if I have them on, like I usually do them overnight, I don't really put them on during the day unless I'm not going anywhere, but today I'm going to work. But the second reason that I like to have them on is because if I'm like accidentally brushing my face or just habitually like, you know, doing what I'm doing right now, 
then I'm not touching them. And that's the, you know, bigger um, problem, because I think I've mentioned it before, but my skin forgets that it's not 16 anymore. It still acts like it is, but it's not. And yet here we are. The dry shampoo I like to use is actually a powder one because the spray, I've never found one I like. Um, I feel like the texture is always kind of whacking me out. Um, but this one I actually really, really like. So it's a powder, like a powder top. So it's a powder dry shampoo. So I'm just going to go through and just straighten everything out. I'm not doing any like curls or anything. I'm just going to straighten it. And this is a travel hair straightener because I had a hair straightener for the longest time and it needed to go so, so, so old. And I was going on a trip coming up and this one was on sale. So I picked up a sale one or a travel one, excuse me. But I do want to get, I think a regular hair straightener. I am leaving for work in about a good hour, hour and a half. I'm gonna finish getting ready for work and then I'm gonna do some of the cleaning out of the, well, clearing out of the closet. I'm gonna do the majority of it, like I said, tomorrow morning before they get here because I do not want all of my contents um, all like spread around my room and stuff. I also am probably gonna put most of it on my bed, but oops, hard to do. <laughs> so I don't open this like all the way because it's too, too much. And what's super funny is that I wear usually black, black or gray shirts to work. And sometimes I ended up with like the, when you're doing like this kind of action, I end up with it on my shirt, but it's super easy to brush away. But again, that, I don't have like that, I don't know, like grittiness that spray ones have that I've tried before. Um, I just need to do sunscreen, which I forgot about. And then, Probably just a light layer of like a BB cream or something. So I'm just gonna take this primer. I like to use this because for two reasons. One, I do feel like it makes the face look a little bit glowy, um, which is always good, especially because I do have drier skin. But two, I do like that it has SPF 30 in it. I'm a big fan of using this in the summer and bringing it with me to um, like the beach or kind of any vacations where it'll be warm. So this is the BB cream. I've had so many bottles of this over the last probably like seven or eight years, but it's like pretty much empty. So this is an under eye corrector from Milani. I haven't been using it as much recently. I was really hoping it would replace this other corrector I've had in the past that I love that was discontinued. It's not quite the same. The thing I like about the other one I had is it was a, in a pot, so it wasn't as like liquidy as this. And then I'm going to take this concealer over top. This is the same brush that I use for like foundations too. Get the last little bit mm. that I can. Oh, well, there's still something there. Good. A little there. A little there and a little there. Cause like I said, 20 seconds, that's about all I want. And I'm really not covering, like my goal isn't necessarily to have, it's definitely not to have like perfect flawless, perfected, you know, that's not what I'm looking for. I do often too, especially on warmer days, put like over top of a BB or CC cream. The powder I like to use from IT, the Celebration Foundation, the reason, um, I wasn't a powder person for the longest time. I kept trying them and never liking them. Shape tape, because I do have one kind of right there that's sort of obvious. And none of them are really raised. But I don't want the, um... But I can try to make them look a little more, you know, part of my skin, I will. So the next thing that I'm going to do is take this, since I am doing a pretty long day today. I'm working till 11 tonight. I want to make sure everything kind of stays in place. 
And I do expect to be doing some projects this evening while I'm at work. So I sort of expect to be moving around a bit, hopefully anyway. That's the, that's the goal. Have any of you tried the elimination version of this is the Celebration Foundation Permit? I don't, this is the first one I've tried from them. Oops. There we go. So I was concerned about like being out in the daylight and the glitter. That can drop that. But I know other people swear by it. Um, and then I'm also going to take this eyebrow gel. This is the one from Essence. This is the one in Ashy Brows. I have like a lip gloss that I keep in my work travel bag. Uh, more like my work bag that goes to and from work. So I'll probably just throw that on like in the car or something. But yeah, that's it for like getting ready for work. satisfying. So I'm going to sit for a little bit, drink some of my coffee. Um, I think I need to leave in about 45 minutes. So probably just going to sit for like 10 minutes, drink my coffee, do a little bit of that closet clear out. And then I just need to throw together probably just a quick lunch, like peanut butter and jelly or something. I already have pasta that I'm going to eat for like my dinner at work later. And so it is actually the end of the night now. I took a phone call, so I wasn't able to do any of this before I left for work. Um, so I just came back. Um, so I'm gonna still do a little bit of this tonight and then I'll do the rest of it in the morning. Um, and now I think I'm gonna get unready for bed, throw some pajamas on, um, and then I'll probably say goodnight. <laughs> like a quick little kind of late night snack um, and then I'm going to kind of just relax a little bit before I head to bed um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video hanging out with me for the majority of my day with the exception of when I was working um, if you like these videos let me know I'd like to do them more often I love watching these sort of videos oftentimes I'll have them in the background while I'm um, cooking or when I'm getting ready in the morning or kind of doing what I'm doing right now, getting ready for bed at night. It's just so interesting to see how different people do their day every day. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know. I will be more than happy to do more and I'll see you next time. Bye.